Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how I bake bread in the Anova Precision Oven. Um, please disregard the dirtiness, um, I've been testing the oven a lot so I haven't had a chance to clean it. I'm going to pull out one rack and I'm going to go ahead and put this rack on the bottom. Um, I'm going to load in a cast iron skillet. This thing's pretty big, um, so it fits perfectly, anything bigger wouldn't. Um, it'd be great if you have a baking steel or a baking stone, you can also use that. So I'm going to preload this in, make sure you have water in your canister here, and I'm going to go ahead and set the oven. I'm just going to use rear, um, the rear fan heating element, and I'm going to set this to 450 degrees, and I'm going to set this to 100% steam. We're going to let this preheat um, until it reaches temperature. We'll probably let it go for about 30 minutes. After that, we'll come back and I'll show you how I load the bread on in. All right, everyone, so our oven has been preheating for about half an hour, um, and then we're going to go ahead and assemble our dough, and I'll show you how I put it in the oven. So this dough has been fermenting in the fridge overnight um, for about um, 24 hours, and I bake straight from the fridge. I don't let it get up to room temperature. Um, I find that it holds its shape better. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, uh, this is just some rice flour in here. You can use normal flour, but the rice flour, it just it works better because it doesn't absorb as much moisture. So I'm just going to give it a little sprinkling over the top of the dough. And if you want, you can kind of move it about, just kind of get a good coverage. I'm also going to do the same. This was just a wooden cutting board, nothing fancy to launch it into the oven. And then I'm just going to use my hand. I basically I'm pushing the flour into the cutting board. Um, that way it kind of gets in the nooks and crannies. There will be some excess, not a problem. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. This dough, I'm just going to go ahead and flip it over. Once I flip it over, I'm going to score it. I'm just going to do a simple score on this one. Nothing too complicated. So I'm going to pull this off lightly. As you can see, because the dough is cold, it kind of holds its shape pretty well. And I'm just going to do one score down the middle. Um, I'm just going to take my lom here, uh, which is just a blade. You can use a sharp knife if you don't have one of these. I like to get it just so it's a little dusted. And then I'm going to do one nice stroke along the length of it. Um, you want to be direct with your cut. You know, you don't really want to delay. You want to get a nice incision. So as you can see, Pretty good cut there. You want it to be deep enough that it's going to open up and create an ear. Um, you can go back and kind of do any touch up if you need to here. Alright, and we're ready to launch in the oven. What I'm going to do is open up the oven, launch it inside, and then we'll let it bake for about 10 to 12 minutes. So let me just bring you guys over here. Alright. Steam's at 100%. We're going in. All right, so I'm going to set the timer on here. We're going to start with, um, we'll, we'll probably do about 15 minutes. And we'll see when we get back. All right, so it's been about 14 minutes, and the bread's looking good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spin it around. It looks like it could probably use another maybe three to five minutes. So I'm going to set the steam function to zero. And then hit play, vent the steam, and then we're going to throw it back in. We'll set the timer for three minutes and we'll check it in three minutes. All right, our timer has ended. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the oven. Let's take a look. That looks pretty good. Not my best loaf, but not bad. Got a decent rise. Not didn't really get much of an ear, but hey, not every loaf is perfect. Uh, this also has a fermentation bubble in here. I probably could have popped that before we start baking, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take my loaf here, and I'm just going to put it on this cooling rack, and we're going to let it cool. It'll take about an hour. And that's it. Um, if you were baking another loaf, what I would recommend is to close your oven, obviously, and then set the steam back up to 
I would turn it on and let it go probably for about 10 minutes to reincorporate the steam in the environment and then start your next bake. All right, now time for the moment we've all been waiting for. We're gonna go ahead and cut it open. Uh, here's another look at it. So not bad, not perfect. I mean, even though it doesn't look the best, it's gonna taste good. I'm gonna cut it right down the middle and I'll give you guys a look at the crumb. So that looks pretty good. I mean, we've got some larger holes here. We've got some smaller. I mean, that's it's going to be a good sourdough. So I'll go ahead and cut off a little piece here, and we'll give it a try. I'm going to just try to cut a nice little thin slice here. Throw on a little bit of Irish butter here. Irish is the best. Alright. And I also like to put on a little bit of flaky salt. Uh, this isn't super fancy. This is a garlic flaky salt. It's from Ikea. And I just like to sprinkle a little on top. Let's give it a taste. I'm going to cut it in half. We'll give it a taste. Hmm. I mean, it's fresh bread. Can't get much better than that. The outside it's nice and crispy. If you guys can hear this. Nice and crispy. The inside is really light and fluffy. And it goes perfect with butter. And it's just really delicate. A little bit of a chew to it, which is nice. We have the fermentation bubbles on the exterior, so you can kind of see those little bubbles. Pretty much it means we did a decent job, but that's a decent shape loaf. I mean, if you cut these into slices and made a sandwich, that would be perfect. So, I hope you try it out for yourself, and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Thank you.